Hello ladies and gentlemen of Grace and welcome back to another episode of Grace Field. I am so excited and blessed that I get to be back to share another video with you. This past weekend, my children and I were able to make a delicious apple pie and thankfully the camera was nearby and I was able to pick it up and capture some of this moment. So I decided that I would share this with you in this video. So that is what you'll be seeing visually, but what you will be hearing and what I'll be talking about is the 10 habits that I hope to improve for the 2022 year. And this is a I guess a follow-up to the 10 habits I'm keeping for 2022. So I'll link that video down below. A lot of you guys like that video. And so I thought I'd follow up with the 10 habits I hope to improve. I won't repeat the things that I talked about in the other video, but I'll say I have been practicing so many skills over these past 15 years and there is just a lot that I know how to do, like make soap and bath bombs and all type of products like that, like cook with whole foods and garden and scrapbook. There are so many things that I know how to do and I know how to do pretty well. But I'm humble enough to say I don't know it all and so there are some things that I am working on. First of all, I really want to get better at making my kefir and my sprouts and my kombucha. I've tried those multiple times and I've had so, so success with it, um, but I haven't been able to keep it the way that I want. I think the longest I was able to keep my kombucha going was maybe six months. And I know to some that sounds like a long time, but when you're such a large family as we are seven people and buying that kombucha, which is like $3 a bottle, making your own really just helps. Something else along the same line that I really want to work on is making sourdough. Oh my goodness, sourdough bread is so amazing and that's something that we love to eat here and so that is absolutely one of the habits and goals that I am hoping to keep and to actually establish this year is making sourdough, sourdough pizzas and breads and pancakes and things like that. So that's number one. Number two is my daily journaling. I like to write. I am a scribe. I write all the time. There's just no question I'm doodling on something. It's just my nature. But I just really want to get more intentional with checking in on and with me. As a mom of five, as a wife, as a homeschool teacher, a homemaker, a homesteader, cooking three meals, trying to make sure things are balanced, there is a lot that's on me. Trying to make sure I'm spending my time with the most high, making sure that I have time to edit and film and create content for YouTube and still have time to read and to sew and all the things that I'm working on doing and all the things that I love doing. So it's a lot and it can be a lot. And I think time, taking that time just to do a check-in with a daily, how am I feeling today? What can make things better? What is it that I need to work on? What is it that I need to do? What is it I need to let go of for today so that I can accomplish all the other things? What one thing can I let down so that everything else can move smoothly? Do I need to focus more on my marriage today? Do I need to focus more on my children today? On my homeschool today? On my cleaning today? On my cooking today? And it's just this balance and act. And so I really love the idea of that. Number three is my workout goals. Oh my goodness. <sighs> as a YouTuber, I was making a video recently and I turned around or as I was editing the video, I had turned in the video and from behind, I was like getting a roll and I was like, what is happening? I've never had a roll in my whole life, but like I've got this little this little extra that's in the like on my back by my arms and I was like you know what this is it enough is enough this cannot be this cannot happen and so I have started doing some intermittent fasting and it hasn't been a complete week yet but I've lost 
almost five pounds um, so far as of this time. And if you guys are interested, I can share more on the intermittent um, fasting, but definitely my workout goals. And they're simply like just running, um, jogging, walking, lifting weights daily, that sort of thing. So it's nothing so, you know, crazy. <laughs> Number four of these habits that I'm hoping to improve is cleaning out my refrigerator weekly before I go shopping. So typically, I don't do that. I'm not going to even lie about it. I don't clean because I actually shop every single week and um, I don't clean it out every time before I go shopping because we're again a large family so there is always a nice amount in there. So number five, trying new recipes. I am trying to commit to one to two new recipes a week and as you can see with this video, it's not even always about the recipe, but more so the technique. So this is my first time trying to make a beautiful apple pie like this with a special lattice on it. And so, you know, maybe that's not necessarily a new recipe, but it's a new style and it's a new way of, of decorating, I guess. And so that's okay for me too. Um, the sixth habit that I'm hoping to improve is my sewing. Um, being creating dresses for myself because I like to wear longer modest dresses for me if it's creating dresses for my daughter because we both wear dresses daily um, or if it's me trying to sew something a little spicy for my husband you know <laughs> I want to be able to do that too and or just mend you know the boys clothing if they need to be mended or if my husband needs something for work um, sometimes his pants are a little too long they need to be hemmed and so he gets someone else to him I want to hem my own husband's pants so that is something that I'm working on number seven is they core somebody sent me a message the other day and it touched me so much I was like oh my goodness she thinks I can decorate because <laughs> I'm like uh yeah your girl cannot decorate at all I need a little bit of work here um and they always say you never see the good in yourself or you can't see as much in yourself as others can see in you so something I want to really improve and hone in on this year is my decor skills is my organization skills number eight I want to practice the piano. I took piano lessons when I was a little girl and I've been saying ever since we moved here, I'm going to practice the piano. I'm going to practice the piano and I don't practice the piano. And honestly, I have no excuse because they make so many things free online and I have some sheet music here, I have hymnals here. There's no reason. Like I really want to continue to, you know, it's good that I can, um, you know, garden and make soaps and um, candles and all those things. But I want to be musically inclined too. I want to continue with it. I have a son that plays the piano. I have a son that plays the drums, one that wants to get on the guitars. That's something I really want to do. Number nine is I want to read homemaking books. And so I have started it off with the Life Giving Home here with the January Ladies of Grace uh, monthly club. So I um, I feel like whatever you do, you should be the best that you can be. You're not in competition with anybody else. You're not in competition with me, not with sister girl, sister guy down the road, or brother guy down the road. You're in competition with yourself to be the best version of you that you can be, the best version of you that Yah, the most high God, would like you to be. And the whole thing is, if you were um, working outside of the home, for those of you who don't work outside the home, um, if you were working outside the home, more than likely you'd have to be taking some sort of training, some sort of classes, some sort of academy. Um, you'd have to have some sort of degree. And so I, I'm not saying that like you have to have a degree in homemaking, but there are so many amazing books on it, so many different perspectives, maybe something you haven't thought about, something you haven't considered, something you haven't heard. And so, and if nothing else, maybe just the extra encouragement. You guys know this channel is all about encouragement, motivation, inspiration for your home, your life, your homeschool, for your homestead, for your faith. And so I just think that whatever it is you are wanting to accomplish, remember, my word of the year was is homemaking. So guess what? I want to read books about homemaking. And so whatever your word of the year was, you're going to read books and surround yourself with things that feed that. Because guess what? If I'm reading a book once a month or once every other month on homemaking, 
is it a guarantee that at the end of the year I'm gonna be where I wanted to be with homemaking? Yes, because I'm investing the time, the energy, the resources to be where I wanna be. Okay, and my last thing is canning. So I know you guys have seen, you guys haven't seen my lotter. <laughs> I know that you guys have seen me can and I have a whole playlist of canning things that I've done so far. But I really have to step my game up. I mean, I've just really done jellies, jams, um, beans, things like that. And there is so much more that I want to do, so much more I can do. And honestly, I have even bought the stuff to make ketchup and barbecue sauce and all these things. And so I just need to do it. And so I am so excited that I get to pull out all these things that want to lie dormant in me. They don't get to lie dormant in me. I pull them out. I call them forth. I call them to the front because I want to be the best that I can be, not just for myself, not just for the most high, you know, God, Yah, but for my family, for my children, for my home, and lastly, for you guys. So when I make these videos, you guys can be encouraged and motivated and inspired, and I can continue to fill and pour into myself so that I can continue to pour and fill into others. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, check out all the playlists, and come back because I'll be back with another video soon.